have a tie. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. See you sneaking into that liquor store, young man! You wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. You've gotten my history out of order! Mr. May I get your name? Harry Callahan. They're smelly, rude, completely unable to take care of themselves, and frankly, they're not very bright. If I had my druthers, dogs would be banned from public places. Harsh. It's a harsh world, Mr. Callahan. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, So let's right? try the panic button. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Your interactions with my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. No matter. Those experiments will be forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Eventually, I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein and clear my mind. I've kept the ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since. See? Hmm. Why? Because it's during this movie that I'll have the inspiration for my breakthrough at the expo. Am I? You! And Emmett helps. Emmett! And get shoved off the roof. Hey. Ah, you just have to time that when he's already lunging. Ouch. Ooh. Right in the manure. Irving Tannen, I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion. <laughs> And smelling like a piece of crap. I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. It's only notes. Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna. They're gonna go see Frankenstein together. That's odd. Huh. What happened to the ticket? Great Scott! What? Hmm. So he didn't we go see the movie. Oh, this could be disastrous. Stop. Sign. Where'd you go, Doc? Uh -huh. yeah. We've got everything under control. What Doc? the? Nearly bald, Doc. Hi, folks. Surat here again with more Back to the Future: The Game. We're up to episode 3. Hopefully there's been a nice little previously on segment that I've had that I've gotten put together that gets you caught up. So let's just start, shall we? <laughs> no thanks. And once it loads, I will see everybody after the opening cutscene.
So, short cutscene. Anyway, right where we left off, Marty crashing through a billboard with a huge picture of Doc Brown on it, and a delinquent rocker chick. Apparently wearing headphones, jamming out, and stabbing trash with their little spear there. Oh, let's see what we can look at, huh? The billboard. Citizen Brown, that's Doc alright, but what the heck's going on here? Good question. This is the dumbest design ever. <laughs> uh, hello? She can't hear me. Can't hear, huh? Try again. She can't hear me. Nope. Okay. So, yeah, Hill Valley now has this huge, uh, wall surrounding it, it looks like. And we're at the south gate. Huh. Oh, well. Time to get our bearings, huh? Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. What do we got here? It is good to see that this little alarm clock's been there. The door? It's jammed. Yeah, that's a window. It's already open. Well, the only thing we have left is the horn. What the hell? Hey, could you give me a Jennifer? That's Jennifer? Wow. Well, let's talk to Jennifer. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? <laughs> so who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, <laughs> Jennifer. Yes, it is, actually. That's... that's... It's not bad on her part. Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just... What's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. Jennifer, you look so... different. That's the general idea of being a nonconformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? Everything but the attitude, mostly. What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. That'd be a good guess. What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. What'd you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? <laughs> I like her. I actually like her. The door's jammed. Can you get it open? I can't reach it. Besides, I'm not climbing under the car. It could come down on my head. Very sensible of her. Could you call someone? A tow truck, maybe. Get real. I'm in enough trouble already. I'm not going to explain your DeLorean violating a billboard to anyone. Yeah, well, can't blame her. You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. A tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch, McCollin. What do you give me for it? Let me give her, huh? She wants All right. something. Let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Oh, what do we got? 
We have... Oh, that's a prom photo that she has disappeared from. We have Kid Tenant's flask, a pair of newspapers, and a photo of George McFly. Now, the only thing a semi-delinquent punk rocker chick would care about is this flask. So... Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give me here. You're a little trusting there, McFly. Uh, smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? At least she's Thanks. holding onto her word. Oh, great. Now what? You could have Oops. angled that a little better, I oh. think. Well, at least we still have the notes. The recurring item. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Hey, Jennifer, wait! I told you yeah, we're through, saw that McFly. Coming. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? Never ask that. Never. And never run towards the car that's falling at you. That's, that's just bad policy, dude. Smooth. Doc, I could really use your help right about now. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to help much. So, what do we got? Big wall. These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? You never know. Let's see if we can bu get ourselves buzzed in. Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, haha, <laughs> hi. Can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the North Gate. Oh. North Gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's got to be another way. Let's see. How the hell do you get through these? Now, the only other thing we can interact with at all is the car. I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still under warranty. Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. You got 40 years early, huh? Well, let's see. Dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... And the That's car good. dies. Completely. Well, at wheel. least one of the hover wheels work. Yep, for how long? Oh, we can get that wheel off the car. Since apparently we aren't going to be moving the car anytime soon. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now, think, Marty, think. Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. Yeah, hmm. so we need some power. Can't no. drive it anymore. I don't think that's gonna buff out. I hope there's something salvageable here. Darn it. I clicked past some text. Well. Hey, there's a battery. 12 volts. Wait, this is the car battery? It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. That's one heck of a uh, good battery system. 
12 volts. Yee. Now. Oh. He doesn't want to go around. Maybe we can use this wheel to get over now that we popped it off the car. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Something else you can hover to the north gate. Oh. Nope, oh, just over the wall. Ooh. And there it goes. Far out. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Severe loading. Wow. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clubs. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. That is the... That will be a key, but... Something really, really strange is going on here. Hill Valley Bureau of Discipline. And I'm getting flashbacks from They Live in 1984. Huh. What have we landed in? It's so, so clean. Good morning, citizen. Good morning to you too, citizen. That's different. What's going on here, Doc? Yeep. Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt? Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? This is disturbing. Okay. Well, we're getting a little long here, so... Yeah, I'll cut this in a minute. I'll finish up this conversation and then call the video. Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. The courthouse? What happened to science? Heavy. Huh. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think, I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble peanuts? Is illegal. Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Okay. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. 
Just like my pa. Great, I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. Okay, let's... Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc? Uh, it's the same. You sure you're an op? Yeah, At work? It That's just right. repeats the conversation. So we will speed through this as best we can. Heavy. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. I guess it's a good thing we weren't carrying that flask around. Well, anyway, it's time to cut the video definitely now. So, when we return, time to take a look around this version of Hill Valley. So until then, take care, folks. See you next time.